Halo guys, mungkin di video ini sedikit berbeda karena ini menyangkut tugas kuliah saya. Jadi saya akan menggunakan bahasa Inggris di sini. Tapi tenang, saya akan usahakan untuk menambahkan subtitle di bawah jadi kalian bisa mengerti apa yang akan saya jelaskan. Tanpa basa-basi lagi, kita langsung mulai. Salam Dimas, Salam Day. This is Dimas Day. Welcome back to this channel on this amazing day. Okay guys, first thing first, thank you for clicking this video. I think you click it because there are two beautiful girls over there and you suddenly click it. Yeah, I don't know. You suddenly click it or accidentally click it. But anyway, thank you. In here, I'm going to explain you about symbolic interaction theory. What is a symbolic interaction theory? Symbolic interaction theory is a theory based on the ideas about the self and its relationship to society. According to the research from La Rosa and Reyes, there are several assumptions in this theory and they are reflected in two three terms. Let's examine it one by one. The first one is the importance of meanings for human behavior. It means like this. We interpret and understand the acts, the behavior, and the symbols of people have made based on an agreement and acceptance in our society. Well, that was an unfortunate. But that's just for an entertainment purpose. So don't take it seriously, okay? Next is number two. Number two is the importance of self-concept. It's like the totality of our beliefs, preferences, and how we think of ourselves and how we should think, behave, and act out our various life roles. But to put it simply, our surrounding could develop our self-concept. It's still related to the first one, when you think or you expect of something around you and you think you can do it, well, then you can do it. Hmm, they can't type faster. If I think of it, I can type even faster than them. Aha! Well, from what you just watched, there is a difference between expectation and reality. So that's a reality, guys. Let's continue to the third one. The third one is the relationship between individuals and society. An individual's acts, behavior, and interactions are influenced by the environment in society. If the environment of the society is good, then our individuals is good. In contrast, if the environment of the society is bad, then our individuals are also bad. Sometimes our society changes times by times, especially when you like gossiping. Hot, plus, plus. Wow. 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 
From that resistance, we can interpret that society can influence our individual according to the theory. But overall, in summary, the point in this theory is simple. People are motivated to think and act based on the meanings they assign to people, things, and events. When we communicate to ourselves or intrapersonal, or when we communicate to society or to others, or interpersonal, the meanings are created from that processes. From that, we can also develop our self-concept and our relationship between us, an individual, and society. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and it's important for you, especially for social human being and social science. I also give my thanks to Kire Olia and Susie as my partners to create this video. Last but not least, I also give my thanks to my lecturer Samsudin Aziz to teach me this theory. Although I don't fully understand this theory yet. <laughs> my bad. If you want to leave comments or suggestions for this video or even give the critics for me as a speaker, just leave your comment below this video. Also, don't forget to like this video if you like this and share this video if you dare to and subscribe this channel so you guys can watch my next video. That is all my friend, this is Dimas Day and remember, keep spirit and stay creative. Dimas Day, out. Dimas Day, out.